So now let's see how we can work around with something called a gauze chart. So to do that, you need to go around and click on add a chart right here and then scroll down and here you can see gauze chart options are here. If I were to go around onto this gauze right here and then click, then what happens is that a gauze chart gets inserted and the metric right now is based on uh, the record count right here. So let's say I want it to be based on the uh, totals right here. So I'm just going to bring in total right there. And just like this, you can see the number right here. But the gauze is somewhere around over here. That is where we need to change up the min and max access value from the style menu right here for this particular gauze chart. So I'm just going to go around and then scroll down right here. And you'll be able to see the access for this particular uh, data. So here you can see that I can show the access over here as well. So right now 50k is the access right now as you can see right here. And this is the minimum value for the access and maximum value. And right now it is being set automatically. So let's say the minimum access value is going to be zero and the max uh, maximum access value is going to be, let's say, for example, 15,000 right here. So in that case, you can see 15K right here and the gauze increases just like that. You can also show a target right here. So let's say the target value for the gauze chart is going to be somewhere around 8,000 right here, just like this. So now you can see the target right here, and this is the total maximum limit as you can see right here. And then over here, you can see that 10.5K is denoted by the red line, while this denotes out the target as you can see. What you can also do is bring in another type of gauze chart, and to do that, you need to click on add a chart right here. You need to scroll down and here you can see gauze um, uh, chart is here. This is another type of gauze chart, as you can see, with multiple milestones right here. So you can go around onto style for this. But before that, instead of record count, let me just go around onto total for this one as well. And now you can see that the maximum value right now is five. So instead of having five right here, let me just do the same for this one as well. Make it 15K and you can see this right here. So now this is the minimum value that is zero and maximum is 15,000 as you can see. So you can define a range of the gauze as well over here. So let me just go around and add in 1,000 as range right here. So this is 1,000 range. Similarly, I'm going to add in 2,000 as a range right here. Then I'm going to add in 4,000 as a range right here. Then I'm going to add in 7,000 as a range right here. If you want to add more ranges, then you can go around, click on add a range. And let's say 9,000 is going to be the next range right here, just like this, as you can see. So these are the ranges as well that you can actually add this. And you can see that the chart divides out accordingly right here. So right now the target is 2.5. So let me just go around and type in 9,000 right here and the gauze chart uh, target range changes out accordingly, as you can see. What you can also do is change up the color right here according to how you want. And then you can see you can work around with the background color right here and change out different things as you can see right here. You can go around and change this. You can go around on to setup, change out, um, let's say, for example, the color of the line right here and so forth and customize out the gauze chart the way you like. And that is how you can insert and work around with God chart inside of uh, Google Data Studio. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.